Hello Year 1 and welcome to your Maths Learning for today. It is the 23rd of February 2021. Your retrieval today, so recap of the previous learning, is to use a counting stick or just sort of you can clap, you can do anything, but practice counting forwards and backwards to 20 and start with different numbers. But you can start with 12, 8, 9, any of those. You can also go a bit higher and try up to 40, see if you can go a bit higher as a challenge. Okay, so then you can have a little, little look at the calendar today. So what is it today? What day was it yesterday? And what day will it be tomorrow? Use the resources to help you and pause when you need to, to have time to do that. And then look at the months. And remember, the new thing that we're looking at is what is the season? What is the season that we are in at the moment? Okay. Our walk today, so what we are learning to do is we are learning to measure length. So yesterday we looked at ordering length and today we're looking at measuring length. So how can we be successful? So we need to know what length means, what it is, and understand a bit about measuring and what that also means. So what do you know, what do you remember about length? So what is it? What does it mean? That's a recap from yesterday. What do we mean when we order the length of something? And how do we order the length of something? Or how do we measure the length of something? So again, pause when you need to, so you don't have, before I move on to what the answer is. So length is how long an object is. It is the measurement or extent of something from end to end. So you can see there the hands from one end to the other, the length of something, okay, from side to side. So how could we measure the length of something and what could we use? Pause here, have a little think, discussion, write those ideas down or whatever is best, the best way for you to represent that or share that with somebody. So do we measure everything with the same measuring equipment? And there's lots of questions here, but then I'll reveal some answers as we move on. So what might you measure a pencil with? What might you measure the classroom with? So why, and explain your thinking. So there's some really tricky questions there. So what could you measure a pencil with? What might you measure the classroom with? Would you measure with the same objects or different objects? So here we've got some suggestions of things that you could use to measure. So we've got here, we've got um, a tape measure, okay? But this one's like a flexible one, so that's when you sort of measure around your waist and things like that. Then you've got another tape measure here, but that's more of a stiff tape measure, which is used a lot for sort of measuring up things in your house, in your home. You've got a ruler, which again, some of you use in school. And bead string, and here, this stick, it clicks basically, and you can measure, so it, even if it's a bend, so like a racetrack or a running track, which is quite good, or a, pit, a football pitch or a field or something like that. So what is standard and non-standard measurements? Some examples there, are any of those standard and non-standard, what does that mean? Again, pause here, have a little think, you can research if you would like, and then I will tell you the answers. So, standard units of measurement are units of measurement that are used within each measurement system. So it's just things that are used that everybody understands, it's the same, so inches, feet, centimeters, millimeters, pounds, kilograms, they're all measurements that are known here, I know what that is. Um, it would be the same as if Mrs. Brackenbury or Mrs. Craven um, measured with them. It wouldn't change. And it's measurements that we use. So in other countries, they would understand what it is. So it's the same. So inches here or centimetres here would be the same as centimetres in, say, um, France. Okay, so it's, so it's the same. The measurement is the same and it's accurate. So non-standard measurement then, moving on to that, what is non-standard? And it's units of measurements that aren't used, typically used. So this is measuring anything other than using standard measurements. So it might be something like using a pencil or arms or how many hands or feet. So you can measure with hands and feet, but they'd go that way because that would be high. So measuring with hands or feet, counters, Candy, so here you can see there's an image at the bottom there, which has got sweets or skittles, and it's me measuring how long the pencil is using skittles. And then again here, you've got a bead string. 
So with non-standard measurements, if you use your hands, how long something might be using my hands might be different to how long something might be using your hands. Uh, because our hands are different sizes. So that's where it's not as accurate as a standard measurement. So can you measure some objects using a standard measurement, say in your home, outside, anything you like? So using a standard measurement. So I've got a ruler here, which is quite a good one. So anything at home, you might have a tape measure or ruler, whatever you've got at home. And then can you measure some objects using a non-standard measurement? So that might be, again, anything around your home, suites, hands, feet, anything like that that's not um, your, it's different to a standard measurement, so it's anything else, okay? So there's ideas there, but use your own, be creative, as you always are. So here it just says to encourage you to count the items. So when you're using these sorts of things, you need to count how many, okay? So be careful with your counting. And then there's an activity here. So once you've done your exploring in, with your standard measurements and your non-standard measurements, can you use a ruler, so that's again your standard measurement, and measure how long these lines are. Then you can, on those lines, write the length. So, so many centimeters, so five centimeters, three centimeters. And then maybe you want to put them in order, first, second, third, from shortest to longest. Then again, Choose these activities. There's another one here, so you can cut your strips of paper like yesterday and then measure those strips of paper. You might want to use some sellotape tape or masking tape and cut those strips and then let, write on those how long they are using a ruler. And then can you put them in order? Okay, so here's some questions to think about. So how did you measure the strips of paper? Did you measure them and have them sort of in the middle? Did you measure them from the end, from the same point? Again, thinking back to yesterday, so have you ordered them from longest to shortest? Did you do shortest to longest? And is it better to order them from the same point? Also think about measuring them. Where should you measure them from? You should always start at the very edge, which is why when we order them, we always start at the very edge as well, just so it's accurate. So then your fly high questions here. What are the disadvantages of measuring using non-standard units and why? Explain your thinking. Can you compare the length using the correct language? So the pencil is half the length of the book, using that language to compare objects that you've measured. Can you accurately estimate the length of objects before you measure? So when you estimate, it just means that you are having a guess, a good guess. So, oh, I think that will be about five centimeters. Then you'd measure it and check and see how close you are. So you can write your estimate and then your actual, what the actual length was. Then your points, just a roundup, so some questions to think about, a discussion with somebody, you can answer these, write them down. So what have you learned about measuring? How have you measured? What ways can you measure? What is the best way to measure? And does what you use to measure depend on the object you are measuring? So why and explain thinking. So how you measure a pencil, how is that different to how you might measure a classroom or a, a room at home? And then, as always, please share your learning with us on the parent support email. It'd be lovely to see what non-standard measurements you use to measure different things in your homes and what you use. But um, So you, if you want to send us some pictures of you measuring objects, that would be really good as well. So remember, we're measuring the length. So when we measure the length, it's how long something is from side to side or end to end. Okay, good luck with your measuring.